Bharatanatyam was only performed by females in the temples, but over time as it evolved, we don't dance it just for religious purposes, but because we want to dance it. When I was growing up, we thought that Malay music is boring. We are actually changing that misconception. It's about emotions, it's about feeling. Male students don't want to join Malay dance group because they perceive that by dancing, they may become soft. We are not soft. It's just that our hearts are soft. Ah. A lot of the movements are inspired from nature. Those movements give Malay dance its strength. The beauty of dance is that everything is always changing. It helps influence and opens people's perspectives. I was really very quiet and shy in school. In Chinese opera, sometimes you have to stand on the stage by yourself. Over the years, I'm able to really stand up in front of everybody and speak with confidence. That will really help me to strengthen my personality in the long run. Whenever I need to clear my mind, art is something that I always fall back to. What I want to do in the future is to redevelop this art form. That's where I want to explore more and also to continue the legacy of Chinese dance. That collaboration was done to showcase similarities between Indian Carnatic music and jazz. The goal was to show audiences that, hey, this instrument is not super exclusive so that everyone can really enjoy and relate to that particular instrument. I want to share my culture with people from other countries. I think this is a good way to preserve this performing art. I hope that traditional Chinese music will be as important as pop or as important as oxygen to human beings.